Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці, українки. I wish you good health, fellow Ukrainians. Today we have a very good result of our international work. Germany will provide us with an additional patriot system. Chancellor Scholz and I agreed on this. We are also working with Germany on an additional IRST system, which is also a strong air defense system and on missiles for our existing air defense systems. Germany's leadership is truly felt, and thanks to this leadership we will be able to save thousands of lives and give Ukraine more protection from Russian terror. Of course, we also talked with the Chancellor about our joint international events. We are preparing for the Ukraine Recovery Conference, which will soon be held in Germany. And together we will do everything to make the Global Peace Summit, the first summit to be held in June, a real success. This also requires the leadership of partners, and I am grateful to everyone who helps. Olaf, Mr. Chancellor, thank you again for the air defense. We will continue to work with all partners who can also help. This week alone I have already had conversations and meetings with the presidents of Lithuania, the Czech Republic, Romania, Poland, Hungary, Switzerland and Latvia. A new bilateral security agreement was signed with Latvia. I also spoke with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, Greece, Portugal and Ireland. Today I had a conversation with the Chancellor of Germany. We will do everything to ensure the results in the coming weeks as well. In every conversation, at every meeting, air defense and the front line are the main subjects. We are doing everything to have more capabilities for our defense forces and the defense industrial complex. Each week also brings new contracts for joint production of weapons. We are also working to finance more of our production right here in Ukraine. Ukraine's potential to produce weapons, in particular FPVs, is quite high. We agree with our partners on joint steps to finance this work for the sake of our common strengths, the whole of Europe and all those who are threatened by Russian terror. It is important to honor all our people who work for the sake of Ukrainian strengths. This day is a professional holiday for the Ukrainian defense industry. I granted state awards to people who are actively developing this industry of ours. Most of them cannot be talked about openly now, and the reasons are clear, but this does not diminish our gratitude to them. I am very proud of our enterprises that produce weapons for Ukraine. We are all rightly proud of every result of Ukrainian weapons, our drones, which can reach more than distant targets, and we are proud of the results of our missiles. All the production of shells and artillery is fundamentally important for Ukraine. Some production facilities that we haven't had since independence are already yielding results. And despite all the difficulties, 500 companies are currently operating in our defense industry. Most of them are private initiatives. Ukrainian character, our entrepreneurs show themselves from the best side. I'm grateful to everyone. I'm grateful to all our 300,000 people who create Ukrainian weapons. Thanks to everyone who helps. As always, I was in touch with the military officials, with the Minister of Defense. The situation on the front line in some directions is quite difficult. And everyone who is now showing their resilience, everyone who defends our positions is doing a tremendous job. I am grateful to every soldier and commander. We are working with partners, particularly in the United States, to strengthen our actions. Glory to everyone who prevents Russian terrorism from achieving their goals. Glory to all who really protect life. Glory to Ukraine.